Hola Rome, Sukhoigar. Welcome brothers and sisters to Vega's Reimagining Star Wars. Today I will be showing you part 2 of our first costume build, Vega's Mandalorian Armor. Please subscribe so you can see more builds as we progress to our fan film. Again, I must say, this would not have been possible without my Marine Corps brother, Tech Marine. He is an expert in building and crafting things, and when he gets his tutorials up for building armor, I'll make sure I shout him out. He is integral in our journey to our film and story. So in this part we'll be discussing mounting the armor. So first we had to decide what we had to would attach this all to. So we decided on a combination of harness, under jacketing, with velcro and pinning. We chose elastic strapping and velcro strapping for the harness and we attached it using eyelet grommets and screw pins. I had to drill holes in all the armor pieces in order to push the pins through in order to go into the eyelet grommets that would be placed inside the strapping and in the clothing. So everything is going on these plates. The armor plates, the harness, the sweat jacket, and we attach all the way down to the boots. For a quick side note, the belt is constructed for one of Tech Marine's children's bat utility belts. He cut up leather and EVA foam to form and create the holster and to uh, holster up the belt. We found some old elbow pads where the plastic was still usable and we turned these into Vega's elbow armor. Next is Vega's thigh and knee armor plates and we attached that to the strapping and to the belt and the elastic band all the way down to the boots. On the boots we attached the shin plating. Here's a quick look at the bracers and the rockets that attach to it. The wrist blaster lights up and makes blaster sounds. On the side is a flamethrower. On the inside we line EVA foam to help it fit to her wrist more tightly. And this is the other bracer with wrist calm and hologram projector. As you can see there's strapping and a sweat jacket and the plates are attached using those pins through both. Velcro and breakaway clasps are used to cinch it up. Here's another example of an eyelet grommet and how I screwed in each pin to hold the armor together. I used Velcro in the center of the armor to allow it to be pulled tight and also allow the jacket to be pulled on and off like a jacket. Because we're designing Vega's armor as long range reconnaissance patrol armor, it needs long range communications. So on the sides of the helmet are additional comm links. The dragon wings on her forehead are stylized antenna for extended communications. At least that's the backstory. Here's the full helmet. In order to cushion the helmet on her head, take a piece of EVA foam and cut it so that it will fit. And then we place the hoodie on top of it and these two together form like a quaff for the helmet so that it does not rub and fits comfortably. Finally the back piece is an old piece of military equipment that I repurposed and painted purple to complete the set. So for the first day trials of Vega's armor we head to Hollywood Studios. This is her when we first parked. She is ready and primed to go. Then we go to meet the Star Wars characters. The First Order Stormtroopers are eager to take pictures with our intrepid bounty hunter Vega Fett. They take us past the line and we get to register as an official guest of Disney. They take us straight back to Kylo Ren, bypassing all the lines. There we get a mission to track down the droid and retrieve some important plans. This leads us to an infamous Wookiee, Chewbacca, and though it is not easy, we get the necessary clues to find the astromech droid we're looking for. We corner the little droid, and since we need him intact, we contact the First Order. But seriously, we did get to register as a special guest of the park, and it was a lot of fun, and, and they did let us bypass a lot of lines and get some special treatment, and it was a lot of fun. It was all worth it, all that effort. So thank you for joining us, and make sure to subscribe so you can get an alert next week for custom action figure creation. We'll be creating the figures of, in Vega's story. If you're interested in finding out more, 
about this story that is inspiring this Mandalorian armor build and action figures, click the card on the right. Retour chez me. May we meet again.